The Bruce Vento Public Service Award was created to recognize outstanding elected officials who are champions of our parks, public lands, and waters. For more than 20 years, the Park Trust has recognized, on a bipartisan basis, elected officials who have gone to extraordinary lengths to champion our national parks. The Vento Award was created and established in 2000 to honor the memory and legacy of Bruce Vento, a 12-term congressman from Minnesota. In the 1980s and 1990s, Congressman Vento was the exemplar of bipartisan leadership in support of our national parks. One of the great desert areas, the Mojave Desert, which wasn't represented in the park system, will now uh, be represented. Nearly seven million acres of land uh, as wilderness, as wild lands in perpetuity. Bruce was a former science teacher. He was an avid outdoorsman himself. He loved to hike and fish. There are so many wonderful champions who have received the Bruce Vento Award. John Lewis of Georgia, John McCain of Arizona, Connie Morella from Maryland, Fred Upton from Michigan, Betty McCollum of Minnesota, Maisie Hirono of Hawaii, Mark Udall from Colorado, Martin Heinrich from New Mexico, Ron Wyden from Oregon, Richard Burr from North Carolina, Rob Portman of Ohio, Diana DeGette from Colorado, and this year, we are very pleased and honored to recognize Senator Angus King Jr. from the great state of Maine. What we are talking about this week in the Great American Outdoors Act is making a gift to our fellow Americans. Bruce Vento, he didn't invent this conservation and the parks, of course, but he was always a champion. He's a figurative mentor for me to pursue my passion about the national parks. As governor of Maine, Angus King was responsible for advocating for funding that led to the preservation of over 600,000 acres of public land. Well, he was very creative in how he found these ways to put more land away, and he created an incredible program called Land for Maine's Future Program. It's one of my proudest achievements. What was quintessentially Angus King is that when he finished his time as governor of Maine, he decided he was going to take his family and see national parks across the country. We did about 15,000 miles, 32 states, and 17 national parks. Everywhere from Kitty Hawk, Zion, Bryce, Yosemite, Canyonlands, Big Bend National Park in Texas, and of course Acadia, the gem of Maine. And here I am, 20 years later, chair of the National Park Subcommittee, I still have to pinch myself because the parks have meant so much to me. Angus King understood not only did he need to put land away for more people in the country, but he needed to fund keeping those places up. And that brought us to the Restore Our Parks Bill. This is one of those things where uh, it is, uh, it's not all that glamorous repairing roofs and doing uh, trail maintenance in national parks, but it'll mean something to the people who come. The Restore Our Parks Act, which became part of the Great American Outdoors Act, was an extraordinary moment. The parks had developed a woeful backlog of maintenance. So what we did was part of this bill was of six and a half billion dollars to address the backlog, and it passed, and it's made a huge difference all over the country. Stewarding what we've been given, I don't think there's a better legacy. To be honest, I'm astonished to be receiving this award. It's, it's a great honor, but it isn't something that I ever uh, thought was even possible. I'm just doing my job. It happens that my job is also my passion.